My name is Yuri Umimoto. I'm a composer. I work within the context of Western art music and classical music. I usually express my otaku identity through my work. This time I have created three pieces, all of which are video works. I created all the animation, illustrations and music. My method for my composition is called speech melody, where conversion human voices, like one's technique used by a composer like Steve Reich in their minimal music, into pitch like 12 equal temperament and musical notes. In the internet culture found on Japanese video websites such as Nico Nico Duga, there is a type of Otomad that samples and over collages anime and memes. Almost the same techniques as speech melody are used there. I don't usually create because I have some impulsive inspiration to express myself. Instead, I consider my own identity, my social position, and my needs in the context of Western music. I do it because I strongly feel I have to. For example, my father worked with computer-related jobs for a long time. My father worked for many years for NTT, like a telecommunications company based in Tokyo, developing the internet and things related to it. It was a job, but from the side he looked like a computer geek, a otaku. From childhood to adolescence, he used to take me around Akihabara's electric town, and like a computer shop, it was in the 2000s, so anime songs and music from Japanese erotic video game songs were always playing in stores, and I used to go to those kinds of places every day. My parent did not approve of such things, so I turned a blind eye to it as much as possible. But in my mind, otaku culture had become a taboo. After passing adolescence, I began to wonder what the original landscapes I had seen were. As a result of the intense memories and music I saw then, and later researched on the internet, otaku culture became my strong identity. That's why I create works like this every time. The reason I started Western classical music was because I was a Catholic, and had been sent to church from birth. So I spent my childhood and adolescence singing Gregorian chants and church music. I attended a Catholic school, both kindergarten and elementary school. That's when I started singing in chorus, and from there I progressed to composing. All the music I was composing at first was religious music. However, as a result of my adolescent awakening to my identity as an otaku, I inevitably expressed myself in this way. The angel motif in this work therefore stems from such a religious identity. My music cannot be fully understood unless viewed from a very long-term perspective and a long period of time, several centuries or half. So honestly, I don't really care about how my work will be evaluated or what kind of impact it would have. This is on a scale of 100 years after my death. All evaluations start after death, but there are some things that could be triggers a hundred years from now. I try to devise ways to incorporate such triggers into my work, the motifs that encapsulate the era I lived in. They also serve as reminders of my own thoughts during my lifetime and after my passing as something for someone to remember me by. As for my recent activities, I am currently working on a large-scale opera in Germany for a few years from now. And in future, I aim to create similar large-scale pieces along with like orchestral pieces. I wish to create even longer and larger works in terms of time and scale. <laughs>